it, there's a new virus called coronavirus. The government are urging everyone in the UK to isolate now, um, which you should be. Um, the police have now got rights to give you fines of £60 for disobeying the rules. You are only meant to leave your house if you're going for food and medicine or going on the exercise. But if you're going on the exercise, you've got to be within a five mile radius of your home. That's what they are advising. We can fight this. Recently, um, Boris Johnson did get announced that he has been tested positive for it as well. Hi, folks. I want to bring you up to speed with something that's happening today, which is that I've developed mild symptoms of the coronavirus. That's to say a temperature and a, a persistent cough. And on the advice of the chief medical officer, I've taken a test that has come out positive. So I am working from home. I'm self-isolating. And that's entirely the right thing to do. Uh, but be in no doubt that I can continue, uh, thanks to the wizardry of modern technology, to communicate with all my top team to lead the national fight back against coronavirus. And I want to thank everybody who's involved. I want to thank, of course, above all, our amazing NHS staff. It, it was very moving last night to join in that national clap uh, for the NHS. But it's not just the NHS, it's our police, our, our social care workers, uh, teachers, everybody who works in schools, the DWP staff, uh, an amazing national effort by the public services, but also by every member of the British public who's volunteering, incredible response. 600,000 people have volunteered to take part in a great national effort to protect people from the consequences of coronavirus. I want to thank you. I want to thank everybody who's working to keep our country going through this epidemic. And we will get through it. Over a thousand people now in the UK have died from this disease, uh, which is not good. There is rules like stay, like only going out for medicine, exercise. But the big one is stay away from people who've got underlying health conditions already, such as asthma, lung problem, heart problems, stuff like that, who are most likely are going to get more ill than us young ones. It is survival. We will beat it. But I am urging everyone to stay indoors. Um, keep washing your hands. Um, stop the stop the spread. We we will get through this. Um, I know it's been a while since I have oh like been on camera. Um, I'm doing this off my phone because um recent recently I've been really busy. Um, but everyone needs to listen now. There's a two just two week left of uh, isolation in your house, quarantine in your house. Um, but they're thinking of extending it due to the fact that no one's listening. Uh, it's three months, which is absolutely ridiculous because there's people out there who need to get back to work. And if we can get the deaths down and cases stop coming in, that's fine. Just listen. Stay indoors. Only go out if you need food and medicine. And yeah, keep your distance. Thank you all for watching and your time. Um, and I'll catch you all after the coronavirus and I'll keep you updated about it all. So yeah, thank you. We will get through it. And the way we're going to get through it is, of course, by applying the measures that you'll have heard so much about. And the more effectively we all comply with those measures, the faster our country will come through this epidemic and the faster we'll, we'll bounce back. So thank you to everybody who's doing what I'm doing, working from home to stop the spread of the virus from household to household. That's the way we're going to win. We're going to beat it and we're going to beat it together. Stay at home, protect the NHS and save lives. <laughs>